Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're told that Alan drives an average of 100 miles each week. His car can travel an average of 25 miles per gallon, and he would like to reduce his weekly expenditure on gasoline by $5. If gas, if gas costs $4 per gallon, which equation can you use to determine how many fewer miles M he should drive each week? So, the total reduction he wants is $5. So $5 is going to be equal to, and then we want to get M miles um, in terms of dollars, right? And we can use this by converting using the dollars per gallon and the miles per gallon. So if we have M miles, we multiply this by one gallon over 25 miles. What this does is it cancels the miles unit and gets this in terms of gallons. And since you're multiplying M, which is our value, times what is basically one, right? If he travels 25 miles per gallon, then 25 miles is equal to one gallon in this context. So this is like saying, okay, six times four over four. Well, that's still equal to six, but we do this because now we have six times four is 24 over four. So it's a different um, denominator. In this case, it's a different unit. Now we have it in terms of gallons. We want to get it in terms of dollars. Luckily, we know that gas costs $4 per gallon. So if we have $4 per one gallon, then the gallons cancel. And we have 4 over 25 times M is equal to 5. And again, five if dollars is the weekly reduction. So we can just ignore the dollar signs because they just quote unquote cancel out of the equation anyways, and they're not listed in this, in these options. So ignoring what we've crossed out, so we've crossed out this, 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 and this, we have one times M over one times 25 times four is equal to five. These ones we can ignore. We get four over 25 and if you want, you can keep the M in the numerator. I'm just going to put it out front. Um, these are equivalent. So the only reason I did that is because it's going to line up with one of these answers, right? The M is in front in all these fractions. So we have 4 over 25 M is equal to 5. This is answer D. So D is going to be it. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.